Hey everyone, how's it going? Today I want to show you guys how to draw a blue tang. Now, a blue tang, they got famous after being featured in the Disney movies, Finding Nemo, and you might recognize this as the fish called Dory. But we're going to draw a realistic version of the blue tang. So start off with this, we're going to begin with the eye. So right here, I'm just going to draw a circle for the eye. Now, starting right here, I'm going to draw the head. So I'm going to start down here, and I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve up like this, and then it's going to kind of come back like that. Now, right here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of go in and then out like this. They have a really small mouth. Then starting here, I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to go down and then it's going to kind of curve right around here and it's going to go up and this is going to kind of form the gill area. Then starting back up here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of go down and then just like I did at the top, I'm just going to go out and then kind of curve right to about here and I'll leave a little space there. Now, starting back here for the tail, I'm going to draw two lines that go out. And then it's slowly going to get wider on each one on the top and the bottom. And then what it's going to do is it's going to curve in, kind of go down, and then curve in a little bit. And this one's just going to do the same thing, but I'm going to go up and then curve in. Now, they also have these fins on top of here, and their fins are a little bit different. So just kind of following this curve, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve around, and then it's going to go down here, and then just when it gets towards the tail, I'm going to curve it in. Now, the one at the bottom is a little bit different. It doesn't start all the way up here. It starts more down here, and but it does the same thing, just kind of curve out, and then curve in like this. Now, right here I want to draw their little flipper. So I'm just going to draw a line that goes up. Then you just want to make it pointy and then come down and then curve around and it can kind of touch the gill. Then on here, you just want to draw some long lines that are just going to curve down just to show some detail and texture in there. Now right here by the lips, I'm just going to draw a little line that's just going to kind of curve around there. And then right along the fins here, I'm just going to make some quick little curved lines that are just going to come back towards the body, and just like this. And then I'm going to do the same thing at the top, just some quick little lines that are just going to curve back towards the body. They don't have to touch the body. You can if you want to. Now we want to draw some of the details on here. So. Starting at the tail, I'm going to begin at the top, and you want to draw a line that goes down towards the tail, the center part, and then do the same thing here, so it's kind of like a big triangle shape. Then you can add some long, kind of skinny lines that are just kind of pointing towards the middle. Now, the blue tang has a lot of stripes on it, and I should say it just has one kind of big, kind of splotchy line. So, starting here at the top, I'm going to draw a line that just is going to curve down, and it's going to go around the eye like this. Then I'm going to curve it up, and then bring it back towards the fin. Then it's going to kind of jump up here, and it's going to curve around and touch the fin again. Then you want to take your line and bring it all the way back here and run it right into the tail. 
And then all of this is going to be black up here. It's going to be a great big black pattern. Now for inside of the eye, I'm just going to add another little circle and then another smaller circle in here. And I'm just going to color in this part just to show kind of like where the pupil of the fish is. Then right around here, there's going to be a couple more little curved lines. And then right up here, I'm going to put a little curved line like this and then a little curved line like this, just to show some more parts of the fin. And then the final part of the blue tank is there's going to be a little bit of a pointy line that kind of comes down here by the eye. And there you go, there's your drawing of a blue tang made famous by Dory. Now when you color this, you're going to need lots of blacks, you're going to need a couple shades of blue and a few different shades of yellow for the tail. But there you go, I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. If you need to kind of catch up, you can always slow down the videos and just see how I color it and see how I shade in it and use all those different shades of blue. But thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed.